I was tempted to uh, say uh, fiscal autonomy, but I don't think uh, giving the regulator uh, uh, so much uh, resources uh, will, will uh, necessarily ensure uh, uh, its independence. I would rather say that actually putting in the right people. Uh, I think that the institution was already set up to be independent. Well, uh, there's the fixed term of the members of the commission. There's uh, the supposed to be there they, they, they're, they're after their fixed term they're to, to retire. So there's there's uh, already that security for them. But you see, it's a reality in, in the country that uh, whoever can just be subpoena to, to Congress and uh, be investigated. If you have uh, regulators, if you put people in the regulatory commission or any regulatory body that know what they're supposed to be doing, they can easily answer whatever, uh, whatever issues that will be uh, raised against them. They, they will be able to defend their decisions before the public, before the Supreme Court, before Congress, anywhere. I think that is the first. And putting there the right people, of course, in my slide there, what, number one would be the competence. Num it's not, of, of course, uh, uh, it's not just because one is a lawyer, one is an accountant. They, they, they would have to have the mindset of a regulator. Then, uh, the, for the second question, in, uh, yes, our generation uh, sector is really highly concentrated right now. We have... Uh, four or five major groups, but somehow there is a mitigation to their uh, market power because, number one, under the law, there's the cap, there's the, mar there's the market share cap of 25%, 30%. So, uh, legally, they can own up to that, that uh, uh, level or of market share. But, somehow, right now, because uh, part of the supply would still be regulated because they're to the captive market, uh, there's the regulation indirectly of the generation sector through the approval of the bilateral supply contracts uh, entered into by distribution utilities. So there's still regulation. And in terms of uh, the uh, market, the, the WESM operates right now and generators uh, will, are required to offer in the market so that they can be dispatched. And at times when there's enough supply, more than uh, the demand, actually prices, prices are low. Even right now, prices are low in the wholesale electricity spot market because, because of the uh, supply and the supply <coughs> outweighs the, the, the demand. But at times when there's a problem in supply, you, you can see the market reacting, prices prices uh, go up. Notwithstanding that uh, the, the shares of uh, the market shares are concentrated uh, among just a few. Plus, of course, uh, there's uh, not just the ERC, but now there's the Philippine uh, Competition Commission that is supposed to be uh, overlooking, over, overseeing the, the market and uh, looking at uh, uh, competi anti-competitive or uh, collusive behavior. And for the transmission, finally, the, the, that is the classic setup, the power, sta the power stations or the generation, the generation uh, units are located uh, far from the load. And because you, you need to transport them, you have to transport them uh, efficiently through the high voltage wires. But right now, it is becoming the, the trend. And, like uh, in the transport sector, a lot of uh, changes will happen in the next few years. We're, we're looking at uh, distributed generation right now, solar, uh, rooftop, uh, uh, households uh, generating their own. Soon, uh, this, this classic setup where uh, power stations located uh, all over and then transmission, soon it may, may, may be affected by, by, by these changes in the power sector. And I believe that, that uh, the regulation will have to be, uh, uh, <clears throat> will have to keep pace with, with uh, these developments. But in your specific case for, uh, say, uh, the Agnus plant in, in uh, uh, Lanao, in Lanao del Norte, well, they, they, they're connected to the grid. And once the power is, uh, is injected into grid, it goes 
anywhere within that grid. So, uh, in, in terms of serving the requirement of the, the uh, distribution utility there, it's a matter of also of uh, the commercial arrangement. Because like uh, the owner of the, the plant there is uh, PISAM, NAPCOR, or PISAM, PISAM contracts the output to distribution utilities. And if PISAM would not sell to the cooperative there, then it doesn't benefit. That cooperative or the, the residents nearby do not, do not benefit. And why would, and right now, PISAM is actually selling, selling to uh, uh, the local cooperative there. In fact, uh, in effect, they're, they're, they're subsidizing because uh, the cost is not fully paid for by the, the residents there in, in, in La Sureco. That's one big problem. But <clears throat> soon, it will happen what, what you have asked, uh, that uh, power will be consumed, uh, will be generated where it is to be consumed. It will happen through uh, the onset of distributed generation. And that is one of the, the, the threats to the business of not just transmission, but also distribution companies.